What's up, Guru Jojo? Let me stop. Let me move up a little bit. We're in Libra season. Time to shift into balance. Time to define relationships. It's time to put a label on it. I always think of Libra season as being connected to labels um, and classifications, but not like Capricorn classification where it's more about rulership and having control over others. I feel like Libra energy is just the way that we define our relativity in this world. So it's the way we kind of um, compare ourselves to others and thus we're able to define ourselves. And this is what helps us to maintain balance in life, right? Right before Libra is where sixth house, Virgo energy ruled by Mercury. This deals with work service, daily routine, day-to-day -day basis, details, working out the details, the functioning of something, listening to your body, and then responding effectively through what you have learned about your body, right? And then Libra season comes and Libra energy is about balancing it all together because we get all these details all this information then it's like okay what's important and what what can i throw out what do i need to kind of expand or add on and then that's how we're creating that balance because virgo season could be quite scattered because it's about so many small things it's 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 always these little small things virgo energy right you get paperwork and you have to fill out a bunch of paperwork and i'm telling you i was thinking about this recently like i bet you a lot of doctors escape details like because you know when you go to the doctor's office and you get your paperwork transferred over and all that shit, it's like um because i was just talking to my aunt about this with my grandma and stuff and it came up but it's like what if these doctors don't fully read the paperwork and they miss stuff? You know what I'm saying? That's Virgo season. Like Virgo keeps things functioning, but it's not necessarily balance. It's just, how do I keep it together? You know what I'm saying? Like you could literally put tape on a flipping, I don't know, uh, a chair or you can glue it, but and, no, and and you can like, and it can function, it can hold up, you know what I'm saying? With that glue, that crazy glue, right? You fixed it. It's functioning. But you sit on it and that shit tilts on the left side and it's crooked. There's no balance, there's no Libra. So your relationship with the chair is imbalanced. It's tilting. Like... That's the thing is, you know, people say Virgos are perfectionists and stuff, but it only appears that way. I really feel like Virgo energy is not, is not really that much of a perfectionist because it's, it's just about details. Like it just, they tend to just, you know, know a lot of information and, and whatnot, but where we're applying the information and stuff that's where i feel like is libra energy because libra makes sense like libra makes sense of things virgo makes sense of things too but libra makes sense of things relativity re relatively <laughs> relativity like relatively so it's like they can see things right and quickly balance out the details of the conversation um you know libras are very relatable people these are people that they see what you're wearing and if they like you you know they're gonna ask you where you got it from and try to like match your vibe or something like that now pisces is extreme remember because libra is ruled by venus taurus is ruled by venus and then pisces is ruled by neptune and neptune is an extreme version of venus this is where people are psychic and can literally like become exactly what you want. But, um, you know, Libra energy, they just want to be relatable. 
They just want to be relatable. Why? Because Libra is about relationships. So these are like the people that you have crushes on and stuff, you know, you, you try to talk to them, you try to start a conversation. So this is about defining our relationships, going on dates. Um, you know, Leo fifth house is about playful dates. Libra is about more seriousness because you're actually dating to be in a um, true relationship and stuff like that. This is also about business partnerships, marriages, and just in general, connecting with others, being compatible, being relatable, and on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you know? So a lot of times Libras are counselors and therapists and stuff. You know, I always feel like this is, these are the people that they define they define approval that's that's a big thing like libra is like it approves things so it's usually how are things approved isn't there kind of like a checklist whether it be on a physical sheet of paper or electronically or it's a checklist in your head it's weighing out pros and cons right that's libra that's libra it's about being proportionate too that's why they say libra is the sign of beauty because when things are proportioned apparently we think that it's beautiful right when things are balanced out that's why certain people's faces if you notice we're more attracted to people's faces that have good symmetry and shit you know um so at this time, it's really just time for us to look our look at ourselves in the mirror, and I don't mean just a mirror based upon our physical appearance. Because as you can see, like I don't need to look in the mirror. I'm balanced all the time. My hair is half up, half down. That's balance. Let me stop, yeah. But if you think about it, it is like I got the balanced hair. Like I be trying to channel Libra energies, but. You know, my Libra is too extreme because I got Venus and Mars and Aquarius. So I got extreme types of um, connects, but <laughs> it is what it is. But we really do need to look at ourselves, you know, less, less physically. Please, like people need, you guys need to stop judging things surface level. I'm telling you, you miss out on many opportunities. Like I've learned that the hard way. No, I never had that problem, but... I'm telling you, I've I've seen other people have that problem. I just one of those people that I I'm actually at a fault. I don't judge things sometimes purely based on its appearance to the point that I look stupid sometimes with the type of stuff I get involved in. Everybody else saw it, but I didn't. But um, where I benefit at is the fact that I don't some sometimes that it's a benefit to me because I don't judge things so superficially. So then I'm able to sort of, you know, not miss opportunities sometimes because of that. But on the other extreme, it causes me to get into stupid situations that everyone else seen was probably not a good idea, especially when I was younger. But anyways, it's besides the point. What I'm trying to say is that we need to see like, where we have our imbalances at we we saw in virgo season we learned we we learned those details about ourselves versus others okay and it's like we extracted those details now we have them written down whether it's in our brain or we written we wrote it down on paper wherever what would balance us out what what is that other half that we need Sometimes it's not a relationship, yo. That's what pets are for. And I'm not trying to be funny. Like, a pet is a companionship. Libra is companionship. It's company. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, how are your relationships? Are you having good relationships? Are you able to communicate with others? Um, it takes the... It takes the balance of all the zodiac signs. Like Libra plays out everywhere, but you know, all the zodiac signs are are morphed together. But it's like you have to have your health, your daily fitness, your routine, your work, your service, your scheduling, 
somewhat up to par is what I'm saying. Somewhat up to par. Like when I say up to par, I just mean that you're not escaping those details completely. And then once that's good, you could start relationships and then everything else that's jacked up in Virgo will balance out too. Because at the end of the day, what you're missing, we find in others. That's the reason why we attract things anyway. Like law of attraction will literally guide you towards the people that you need in your life. And sometimes these people are here for a season or a lifetime. Like that's my mom's favorite goddamn um, quote. A reason, season, or a lifetime. She says it for everything, even stuff that's completely irrelevant. I'm like, mom, you just can't say that quote for everything just because you like it. Because that didn't even make sense. Like... <laughs> But maybe I just missed it. Maybe I missed the point. But sometimes. But um, these relationships, a lot of times, is just to show us like what we could be doing better. But at the same time, we have to learn too, not to only use our company and our relationships for our own benefit, because that's where we could become very unrelatable in life. And then we'll wonder why don't people want to hang out with me, or why don't people want to bond you have to look at whether or not you've been selfish or you've been escaping too many details and then when people tend to escape too many details you just don't know what's going on and then people don't want to be around it's it all makes sense when you look at astrology sixth house is details and then if you look libra's in between that detailed sixth house of maintaining the functioning of something and the eighth house of scorpio which represents like, you, you know, silence and, and feeling a sense of loss and, and having to use roundabout ways to like form relationships or, you know, get what you want because of the lack of Libra energy. So it's very important to now tap into these energies because in the end of the day, we have Mercury in Libra. We have Venus in Libra. Mars is still in Virgo. And now the sun's in Libra. The moon's currently right now at the end of Cancer. Um, but in general, with that Mars still being in Virgo, we're still asserting our willpower. We're still passionate towards receiving details. And since now the sun's in Libra, Venus has been in Libra, Mercury's in Libra, those details we're asserting have to do with relationships. It has to do with relationships right now. Right now, we are doing things to better bond with others, to form relationships or business partnerships any form of partnerships is considered to be Libra energy. Libra defines or adds a label to the partnerships. Libra is about popularity. So you notice people that have like a strong Libra energy, a lot of times people want to be around them for some reason. Because they have an energy or aura around them that says I'm cool because it's cool to be relatable. Not so much today. This generation's different. I feel like we're more quirky, but now it's like people are very unconventional in a relative way. So it's like there's the things that are unconventional are not even conventional now because it became a normalized way to compromise anyway. I don't know if that made sense, but it's like all the weird behaviors now are everyone does them. So now you can almost classify it under a normal behavior or a traditional behavior. So, yeah, I mean, Libra energy is what kind of makes us sometimes. It's, it's, it's an approval energy. It approves things. So Virgo is constantly picking up small bits and pieces of information and then Libra pretty much adds a label so after all that information is processed 
Libra like pairs it up with something. You know what I'm saying? Think of like a social media account or a um, dating website or something. Any sort of any sort of account where you're trying to be relatable with others, but um, yeah, you're trying to be relatable with others. That's good enough. So you have the blank account, right? They tell you to add a picture and then you have to add like a username or a name or whatever. And then you would add your information, like your about me section and your, so I'm, I feel like I'm talking about MySpace right now, you know, and then you have your, your top eight. Those are, those are all the people that, you know, you have popularity with your little top eight. And then, um, Scorpio energy is like, you know, that one friend, you keep texting them. They're not hitting you back up. You know why? Because you ain't have them on your top eight and they pissed off, but they don't want to tell you. So they're using a roundabout way to let you know that how they feel about you not having them on your top eight on MySpace. And, you know... That's Libra energy. You're putting all these details on your blog, right? To show your relativity to the environment or to the external world. And then you add people as a friend. That's a Libra thing to do. Like you're like, oh, you, oh, this person plays basketball, play basketball too. I'm gonna add him as a friend. Nah, most people just like, oh, she cute, <laughs> add. <laughs> You know, so that's pe how people are and that's the way the world works. Like you look at the things that you like, like ability is connected to Libra. I like it, you know, <laughs> sound like I'm at cold stone. Um, but that's what it is. It's just about balancing things out. Like, you know, if your profile looks balanced, people probably going to add you, um, and then when things get extreme, that's what? The other air sign, Aquarius. Aquarius is about extreme. So um, it lacks balance. It's where things become a little bit quirky um, or crooked and like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. So yeah. Let's all take this time during Libra season to literally just try to balance ourselves out so that it reflects externally and we can balance out our relationships, our partnerships. We can add more clarity to our relationships and, and partnerships. Do not be afraid to ask for those details. Right now, it's allowed to. We're, anytime it's allowed to. I feel like we should never be afraid to ask somebody like, you know, what is our relationship considered? How are we being defined? But especially now... You know, the energy's here for it. Um, and, you know, you just can't go wrong to find out that information. Also, too, sometimes you don't need to ask. You could just see it through the person's actions. Um, you could just learn it. But some people, you know, are different. And it is good to actually ask. Um, I feel like, you know, Libra does oppose Aries, too, because a lot of times this is your actions speak louder than words. Because Libra is such a diplomatic sign. It's about communicating and being tactful to get what you want. So a lot of the times these people could fabric, like fabricate a way of communicating that implies a particular message, but does not own up to it in, in action. So, um, and this is where things are imbalanced. And, you know, a lot of people <laughs> that are into astrology and the metaphysics and deep, darker stuff, we all have that flipping problem. I'll tell you this right now because by default, we're connected to the 8th house of Scorpio and the 11th house of extremity and the 12th house of um, escapism. So that's why it's very important for us to really tune into these Libra energies, find who we connect with, and thus these people are going to understand us because we're all going through the same shit. And then we can just be understanding, compromising, and form more healthy relationships. I'm going to be pulling four cards from the Angel Oracle. Um, nah, what is this called? I'm over here making up the damn name. <laughs> it looked like an Angel Oracle. It looked like it should be called Angel Oracle. It's called... Um, 
Yo, if something else fall, I swear to you, man, stuff is always falling. It's weird because I'm not super clumsy. Like, in person, I actually normally don't trip or anything. I shouldn't say that because watch me start tripping on shit. But I'm one of those people, I'll have too much stuff in my hands and I'll drop something or something like that. Anyways, besides the point. Um, uh, damn, yo, I don't know what's going on with me today. Um, but yeah, this, okay, so this is the Angel Tarot Cards, is what it's called. You know, it's Doreen Virtue, who converted back into Christianity. How dare she not? She can do whatever she wants. Doreen Virtue. Um, whatever. I like her cards, I'm not even gonna lie. She could have made them smaller. But you see oracle cards, um, which that's basically what these are. They're flipping oracle cards pretty much. But I get it does have a very tarot connection to it. That's why I like I like these. I like these. I like these. They're just I uh tarot, like not tarot, but a lot of times the oracle cards and stuff, they're so big, but they're nice, but it's like, yo, how am I supposed to shuffle? But I'm gonna tune into this Libra energy and get some guidance from the higher ups. All right. See that no scratch? That's how you know someone's channeling messages right there. Okay, your nose gets itchy as heck. Why? Because your energy is actually trying to, um, and it's it's going through the pineal gland and the crown chakra. So it's like weird, but it gets to the nose area or something like that. I don't know. It's annoying though. My nose be itching whenever I'm doing tarot readings, especially yo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> weird but anyways that's how you know i'm catching the spirit spirit please provide us some guidance for this libra season provide us some guidance Let's see what we're gonna receive for this libra season all right boom we got ourselves what is this the four of air this is connected to the four of swords so Let's read the card for um, its connection. The card says, time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Yeah, so the Four of Swords is generally connected to a resting period in a contemplation period. So perhaps we're contemplating about our relationships at this time, right? We're thinking about making a decision. We're reviewing something, all right? And it takes a balanced mind in order to properly make these decisions. So we need rest. We got ourselves the eight of earth, okay? The eight of earth, that's connected to the eight of pentacles, okay? So there's going to be probably some going back to school. All right, let me just read the card. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic, back to school. So, yeah, like if you see in the card, the guy is like, um, I don't know if you guys could see, but it's like he's holding books, the guy. It's an angel. It's an archangel, probably. He's holding books. So, it's very connected to us probably trying to like rest before making a decision and partaking in some sort of study maybe okay we also could be thinking about restructuring our relationships at this time so maybe this is like defining our relationships like you're going from engagement to a marriage or a relationship to an engagement or maybe there was a period of time where there was a breakup and now we're contemplating on whether or not to give that person another chance or to come back together to rebuild the relationship. High Priestess, number two card. It says, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. So again, 
definitely a deep comp contemplation mode that we're all in right now, it sounds like. And this is connected to Archangel Haniel. So, um, I don't even know the half of the names of these Archangels. It's like some of these ones I never heard of in, in this deck. But the High Priestess is usually connected to holding on to our information so we it's like people that know stuff and they may not speak about it so it's connected to pisces and scorpio energy holding on to things and um not taurus energy it's not holding on to physical resources this is like holding on to the things that holding back is what i'm trying to say holding back okay we got the ace of air as well ace of air this is about cutting through so we're cutting through some sort of information and, and um, narrowing things down. Let's see what it says. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So, um, you know, we may be narrowing things down. And when we narrow things down, we end up learning about new new things that we didn't see. So we get these sudden sparks of inspiration and information and a lot of times this can be disturbing um, because it usually brings in some sort of news that we didn't really attend to, okay? But this is going to help us to gain the energy, the spark, the inspiration to actually get over a challenge and to begin again. So it definitely looks like we're going to be rebuilding something at this time. There's something that we're trying to rebuild. A lot of times this means that a lot of people are going to have to go back to school. In order to be more compatible or, or in order to be more likable, in order to gain popularity in something that we want, some of us, it's required for us to get a degree or, or certified in something. Okay, it's, it be, it's in the cards because at the end of the day, this card has to, this eight of pentacles or eight of earth, it has to do with learning all there is to know about a topic. So when you learn that, then you're going to be able to take on the challenge to to basically get these new ideas and then you're going to get them and then it's going to be like okay let me get started with it and, it, and but it's going to be a challenge there's going to be some sort of challenge that we're going to have to overcome but what i'm trying to say is like that challenge is like a hump you know it's like a hump in the road but we're going to have that inspiration to like leap to like literally leap over the hump you ever try to ride a bike over like a a hill and then you just don't have the energy to do it? It's like we're going to have the energy to get over it. So that's what I'm just trying to say. And then four of air, contemplation, resting, meditation, restoring one's health in order to what? Make balanced Libra, right? Decisions. And then the high priestess is about um, holding back. So perhaps... Make sure that there is some information you're still keeping to yourself because it's still a need to transform that information to a better state before putting it out. But also don't hold on too much because that's what causes things like um, three of air, right? Which would be before the four of air, which three of air, aka three of swords, has to do a lot of times with bad health or deception and lies. And those deceptions and lies, they come from a lot of the times, too much secretive motives, too much um, holding back, right? And that's what kind of distorts or disrupts relationships. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying, for overall reading um, for the collective. So yeah, I wish everyone the best of luck. Remember, Libra is about peace, love, unity companionship and balance and we're all going to be tuned into that vibration good luck blessings light and love